Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look to see how the iPhone 7 handles the latest iOS 14.2 developer beta 2. Now before we get to the video, as always, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications enabled to stay up to date with more content just like this. Plus, subscribers' iPhones actually seem to run cooler than non-subscribers, so there's always that extra benefit. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 14.2 Developer Beta 2 released to all registered developers just a few days ago. This update brings bug fixes, possible security patches, and overall general improvements which are much needed since Beta 1 really seemed to have a lot of issues affecting many users. Now let me know in the comments how your experience has been with iOS 14.2 Beta 2 so far and what devices you're running it on. Now if we take a look at performance, general performance while running iOS 14.2 Beta 2 has been just fine. Apps open and load up at about the same time as iOS 14.0 or 14.0.1. Web pages tend to load up fairly quickly, but still not as fast as iOS 13. Although this could be due to my terrible, I mean, uh, this could be due to my connection. RAM management has been good for the most part, especially when you take into consideration the device's age and the fact that it only has two gigabytes of RAM when compared to three or four on newer iPhones. Now, I don't experience an annoying amount of reloads and they really only occur when I have several heavier apps open in the background. Now animations have been terrible while running iOS 14.2 beta 2. First, I've been noticing it stuttering throughout the operating system, mainly when scrolling through widgets page and the app library. But secondly, secondly, an issue that I've been experiencing since early iOS 13 has returned and this time even worse. Yes, you probably guessed, the unlock stuttering is back. Now this time it lasts for about seven to 10 seconds after unlocking the iPhone. Now the stuttering is very severe and even affects audio output. I've noticed that locking the iPhone while this stuttering issue occurs actually cuts off part of the lock sound. Now many iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users have been actually experiencing the unlock stuttering issue unlike times before. Let me know in the comments if you're experiencing the unlock stuttering issue as well. Now just like the overheating part, this is probably going to get its own part in the video because oh boy it's not going to stop is it? Well, even with the terrible animation news, we got some good news for battery life, but before I get into that, I'm just gonna take a second to mention that my iPhone 7 is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 91% and has never had a restart. Now, this does mean that my iPhone 7 is not being performance startled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. All right, so battery life while running iOS 14.2 beta 2 has been shockingly good. I've not experienced any significant battery drain when compared to earlier versions of iOS 14. Now I won't say that we're battery drain free just yet, but I will say that the battery life has definitely improved some in 14.2 beta 2. Now as for standby, it appears that the abysmal standby drain has finally been fixed, for the most part. There is still slight battery drain, but it's much better than it was previously. Now of course, here's an update on overheating. Surprisingly, very, very surprisingly, I have not experienced any overheating with my iPhone 7 while running this release of iOS 14.2. Now I'm going to continue testing this as a very skeptical to whether or not this is entirely accurate. Um, and if I come across anything significant, of course, I will update you all as soon as possible. Now let me know in the comments below if you've been suffering the burden of the overheating iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Now iOS 14.2 Beta 2 was a bigger update than expected, although it really took care of some of the issues that many users have been experiencing across all devices with Beta 1. Now for the iPhone 7, it hasn't brought any major performance gains or decreases. It hasn't had any effects on RAM management, but when we get into battery and overheating, this is where we see an improvement. However, animations have taken a noticeable hit, so there is that. Now I hope we see fixes for all these current issues soon. And now, with all of that said, the main question, should you update? Well, if you're on iOS 14.2 Beta 1, I'd say absolutely. There's really no reason not to update. Now, if you're on an earlier version of iOS 14, I recommend waiting for the final release of iOS 14.2, which should be in a couple of weeks. And if you're on iOS 13 or earlier and want to update, I'd recommend waiting a bit as well. As always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. All right, everyone, that is all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.